coming. And if it wasn't this threatening uh, rain, I think the crowd should be here. Okay. It should be full to capacity by now. And uh, being a game of 2 p.m., it was changed. But I think people will come when it said it was up there. Uh, Appreciation goes to FUFA. Okay. We requested for this on Wednesday. I didn't know it wasn't timely, but uh, FUFA came in too fast to develop the game of football. I think it is the beginning of the beginning. Okay. The development of the game, we, as you can look the surface in Western region, we have the pre good playgrounds. And these two teams, I think they are some of one of the teams that play exciting game, an exciting game. So we expect much from this game. And uh, I think tomorrow, as we are heading for another game, it will be fantastic. Okay, of course, uh, thank you very much, uh, the chairperson of the region. Uh, that's where we are in the Western region. Uh, he has said that it's innovation and it's the best thing for uh, football to go on, to devolve football. Of course, uh, games to be televised, different games, different uh, leagues, it is something that is good. Of course, appreciations to the FUFA president, that is none other than engineer uh, Moses Magogo Asim. Of course, with me is the coach from Matoda uh, AFC. You're most welcome. Thank you, thank you. Coach, what is your strength into this one to pick the three points? Of course, I'm at home. I expect a very good game. Of course, uh, we are going to play a wonderful game and attacking football. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have any news at the team currently? Uh, I, what I would say, we have no injuries. The team is very, very set. Well, I appreciate the, the, the FOFA TV for coming down to to, to Western to see our players the way they are, they, they, they are playing. It is, it is a very, very good approach. Okay, of course, thank you very much, coach, and I wish you the best again as uh, Kamal FC into this one. Next is the coach from uh, Kamal FC also to tell me how he has prepared the boys into uh, the game, of course, um, not today. Uh, Kamal FC, I've told you, they will be changing their name next season to FC Lions. Of course, coach, coach, you're most welcome. Thank you. Uh, coach, how have you prepared uh, the boys for this game? This is our third game, so I know we are prepared very well and we are ready to go. Yeah. And we share the same pitch, so we are not away, we are at home also. Yeah. So the boys are okay, they are in a good shape, nobody has injury, we are all fit. And you know, I'm using young boys of senior six who has just finished school, uh, guys who have just finished university, so it's a fresh leg and I expect a good show. So okay. Mm. This, this means it is uh, a pitch dub, of course. Yeah, we use this pitch, so we have advantage also. They have advantage, we have advantage. We are all at home. And then the fan is 50-50. So I, I believe uh, if the guys listen to what I told them, the game plan, they use it very well. At the end, we shall take the day. Okay, uh, what could be the expectations of you as a person and of course as a team into this season? Uh, it's a new team. Uh, just got promoted to the to the, to the regional league, uh, but with a with a very good uh, target, with a very good ambition. I believe uh, we want to go up to the playoff. Just we want to surprise people in the western part of Uganda. We want to come from uh, fourth division to regional league, then to big league. That is our prayer. If was we have to play uh, a playoff. Yeah. Of course, I wish you the best against um, uh, Toda FC. Of course, I'll be joined. Be, uh, I'm going to be joined by Emmanuel, a fellow journalist in this region, of course, to tell me a little bit about this game. That's Toda FC taking on um, uh, Kamalo FC, uh, to be known as FC Lions uh, by next time, of course. Um, uh, Emma, of course, you can be joining me uh, just to. Uh, to discuss a few uh, questions there and then, of course, into uh, this game. Um, he's a fellow journalist in the region. Of course, you're most welcome. Okay, thank you so mm. much. I'm Emmanuel Arnitwe. I work with Reddy and Kwe Ntungamo, and I'm a sports journalist. And mainly, maybe I will use a uh, local language for the sake of our listener and the viewer. On Pirogumpa, no go team with Antoda FC, Hamwena FC Lions. On Pirogumpa, it is a derby. Non pira, Oguaman, Monongo, Murintungamo, Aquam, Tunga, Tunetim Zishatu, 
tuna timu ya FC Lions tuna timu ya Antod FC tuna timu ya Rubare United so team says in main let us first use english okay. uh, for our for more people who are outside also to first understand what we are in and of course at if after him, you'll be analyzing this with uh, Timothy into the local language all right mm. so now i was still talking of the derby this is a, a very big a game for these two teams uh, FC Lions uh, whose name is subject to change because uh, it is currently called Ahamar FC and it is subject to change next season to FC Lions so it is playing in Toda FC this is a team that has been here for quite long actually it has been here for over 15 years and it is a team that has been playing as a single team in the district so uh, this season we as in Tungam we are privileged to have registered three teams so far playing in the Western Region League three teams Three teams so far. In the same league, from the same district, the same district. something that's big. Yeah, which is also uh, an achievement. I must say, uh, it is a big achievement as in Tungamo. And uh, for this game, these are the teams that are using even the same pitch. FC Lions using the same pitch with Intoda. And Intoda, uh, for today's game, they are the hosts. And in Toda, uh, last game, they were playing Rukunji United, and they won that game by one nil. And the FC Lions was also playing uh, its last game with the Aruba United, which was also a derby of its own in Ntungamo, and Lions won it by 3-1. Mm -hmm. So I think this game itself, it carries a lot of sense and humor uh, in Ntungamo and all the neighboring districts, because these are the teams that are most known in this region. And uh, I think uh, as FUFA, you must be appreciative of this, because it is taking our football to another level. And I think in the Western region, it is some region that is developing currently in far as football is concerned. Okay. Um, uh, speaking about the two teams, that's in Toto FC and uh, Kamal FC, uh, to be subjected to FC Lions. Yeah. The teams use the same pitch. Yes. Uh, let's talk about today's game. Yeah. If you are to predict something into this game, yeah. what could it be? Yeah, probably this game, uh, like how it is of intense uh, nature, I think it is going to be a game of do or die. Because these two teams, they have to show themselves who is bigger than the other. Mm -hmm. And uh, like Ntoda has played a single game and they have won it. Uh, however, Lions has played two games. It started with Wampara Bulls and they made that draw. It was an away game. And this uh, last game, it was a home game. They won it. So currently in Ntoda, I think it is, it is in the way of wanting to prove the Lions as a new team that is just coming the new league and they want to prove them that is a big team. Okay. However, FC Lions, I think they also want to put up a challenge because they want to show that, yes, we are new boys on the board, but we can still put up a challenge. Okay. So I think this game which is probably going to end in a stale match. That's how I think. Okay, yeah. of course, uh, that is him, Emmanuel, a fellow journalist in the place. To, uh, now, I'll be uh, joined by an executive member in the place, of course, to share some moments uh, from the Federation of Uganda Football Association and of course, not only moments, but also the appreciative messages uh, from uh, the executive, the all executive uh, of Federation of Uganda Football Association. You're most welcome, thank my you, boss. Thank you so much. Thank mm. you so much. And you are welcome to Ntungamo and Western region as, uh, at large. Okay, let's look into the camera. Mm -hmm. um, of course, uh, FUFA TV traveled all the way from Kampala to the Western region mm. to broadcast a game. What does this mean to you as a member in, on the executive? First of all, I think uh, I was born lucky to have such a game telecasted live, the first of its kind in Western region. No, I can't say so much beyond that. It, it talks for itself. Yes. Yeah, and uh, as far as football development, I think this is a, a good base, a good foundation for some years to come. Football will be at par. And I think you will look at the game and you see the intensity and you feel that football is being developed. Okay. Mm. Uh, of course, um, and the same message as the chairperson did to welcome the people mm. uh, from the different places of the country into this place. Of course, many people will be watching live on FUFA TV and some people will be, of course, at the stadium. Yeah, for the people who are watching, uh, you know, there has been a, a perception that for Western Uganda does not produce good players. You look at them and see, we have tried to nurture players and I think we can compete at the, at the national and international level. Uh, what I want people to know is that uh, this FUFA TV has come at a time when we need to modernize our game.
And uh, I, I, I want to assure people that this innovation brought by FUFA, uh, most importantly our president who was behind everything, including the ExCOMO and the General Assembly. Me, I think football will, will reach another level in some, some few years to come. Especially Western Uganda, which will compete at, at the national level. You can name the province football, you can name now the regional football. I think Western Uganda is at par. Okay, of course, thank you very much. I will be getting back to him uh, at the end of the game. Of course, I wish you a nice watching of this one. Uh, yeah, let people watch. Let the football behind talk for itself. Okay. Yeah. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, shall be going into the game. I'm Constant Allen for commentaries, none other than Peter Otai. Now we are coming to you live all the way from Ntungamo. It is the Ntungamo Derby here. And it's a battle between the two sides that actually uh, do brag a lot when it comes down to the match in particular. We have a Hamwaro Football Club up against Ntonda Football Club. It's a battle here today between the two sides as they actually are looking for the bragging right on who is the actual football team in Ntungamo. It's a game that is actually going to be enjoyed wherever it is enjoyed from. And to remind you quickly that FC Lions is the original name of Ahamwaro FC, subjected to change next season. And they're the ones donning on the white kitties. And on the other side, it is Ntonda putting on, of course, uh, the little bit of hot reds here today. Hopefully, we shall be able to enjoy the game as it rolls up from one side to the other side. And much anticipated game here in Ntungamo is what we expect. The last time football came live in Ntungamo was years ago in the Uganda Cup final. It was a battle between KCCA and a sports club Villa. That game did not come to an end due to some bit of chaos down here in Ntungamo. But today, we expect a different kind of feel on the derby side. It is a derby of Ntungamo. It is a game that comes to you very much live on FUFA TV. Well, shortly, we shall be having the lineups coming out very shortly for the two sides. That is FC Lions, also called uh, Ahamwaro Football Club. And that name will be changing next season to officially uh, bring in the Hamaro element of it. But that is how it stands today. They are standing relatively very well on the table log, Ahamwaro. They're basically number two on the table. And hopefully they can go down and play a very pivotal game here today. They have managed to play. This is their third game. They've managed to win one. They have drawn one. And on the other side, Ntanda Football Club has only played only one game. And they're basically playing their very second game here uh, down in Ntungamo. Well, Ntungamo has been a district which has gone on to produce some quality uh, footballers. And one of them is uh, by the names of uh, Paul Mucherez, who actually comes uh, all the way from Vipers Soccer Club. He actually comes all the way from around this area that is uh, in Ntungamo. Ntungamo is also a district that has produced the first lady of Uganda. So you can say it's a district that actually has produced some great men and great women. And now we're waiting to see if it can go down and produce more quality footballers and more entertaining young talented footballers. On your screen, Semakula Hashim, the goalkeeper there for Ntonda. Alongside Gerard, the jersey number eight, Ainebiona Gerard, the captain of uh, Ahamwaro Football Club and the referee for the day trying to get everything spirited out and get everything moving on well. He's by the names of Gumisiriza Memory. He actually comes all the way from the western part of the country. It is their game. They're the ones in charge of everything here tonight. Assisted by uh, Kwoshaba Angela and Ashaba Darius are the ones in charge of this game. So let's wait and see if Memory can actually have a very good memory of this derby here in Ntungamo. It looks like Hashim has won the toss. 
and he's actually going to be selecting the side. So if he selects the side, it means that uh, Gerard and Ntonda shall be the Gerards and the Lions will be beginning with the ball here today. That is a very good photo. This is the lineup of Intonda and Ahamwaro. And when you look at Intonda very well, Semakula Hashim, the captain is in goal. Ronald Badikoa, Beno Nyonzima, Walter Rubankene, Moses Bale, Mwanzinga Yiga, Aganga Crispus, Blessing, Blessings Ngabirano, Ahereza Alan and Ian Asasira, all available together with Alex Orech. And of course, on the other side, it's Naboth Waga, Brian Kipro, uh, that is uh, Senkuruga Sharifu Kisembo, all available to play the game at night i have to admit it's a very good surface of play now those are your substitutes for the day ntoda fc and hamwaro fc very good game to actually play here today very good surface very green surface it is a surface rich in the game a surface that to me has actually seen some pretty good football played here and we'll be able to enjoy everything there is to enjoy in this match fc lions in the red white today and Tonda Football Club putting on the hot p uh, reds in there. The match that will be coming up very shortly. Let's wait and see how far it will be driving up. Nice game we wait. Nice game we anticipate. Memory, the center referee on your screen. Very much calling the boys to get ready for the clash because this is supposed to be an early kickoff, 2 p.m. Because there is another game to come up from Boma. It's supposed to be Boma up against Soroti City. That game is coming up also live at exactly 4 p.m. live from Masindi. So the game has to get underway very quickly. It is a cold afternoon in Ntungamo. I'd like to welcome you to this match between Boma, sorry, that is Ntanda up against Hamwaro. It is the derby of Ntungamo. And we'd like to welcome you yet again to another exciting regional league football here in Ntungamo. <laughs> Stolen away by Gerard, trying to look for his possessions. Fighting very well onto the wing side. Davidson Kumakech. Tries to nick that ball deep down, but intercepted well and recollected and repunned. It's very good play from the back. Looking for Beno Nionzima. Back to the goalkeeper, Semakula Hashim. Long ball from Semakula this time round. Collected very well in the midfield. They're probing and probing. They're looking for possession. Super play in the midfield there. Good play from Walter Rubankene a while ago. Now stripped away. Onto the wing side, collected by. Walter Rubankene looking for that ball. Ball just easily glides away perfectly well. Nice goal by Sharif. Then recollected. It's a good play from AFC Leopards. Uh, Leop Lions rather. They've actually put some pressure. Walter Rubankene. Rubankene with those ostrich legs right now. In the midfield looking for Dongo. Alan Nahereza. Stolen away again by FC Lions. Trying to man up right now. Menya Derek, Menya again, he's brought down and the referee says that will be a free kick, Menya has just been brought down. Very good run there from Menya Derek, super run from Menya. Trying to get the hold of that ball, he's actually brought down by Jazzy number 12, Badikoa Ronald, bringing down on Menya. Such a fine player Derek Menya and this free kick shall be brought in by 18 Kaizi, long from Kaizi Jamiru. It's bouncing through and over, but looks like the referee had blown the whistle already. Some bit of impeachment going on. We're currently coming to you live from uh, the Uganda Regional, Western Uganda Regional League. And if you look at both sides, actually, they do play here in the Chigezi Regional League of uh, the FUFA Western Regional League. Ntonda is number six on the table league, having played one game, scoring one goal. Ahamwaro. Having played two games, have managed to win one, they've drawn one, and they've scored three goals. If you look at Ahamwaro, they managed to beat Rubari FC by three goals to nil in their last game that they played. And Rubari FC is another interesting team to watch out for. Odong. Good play there from Abdallah Yiga. Sweet turn from Aganga Chris Pasodong, and stolen away here by, looks like Walter Rubankene. Not getting that ball perfectly well. Good play again in the midfield by Kaizi. Switching the wing. Looking for Kipro. Is that Kipro? It's actually Menya Derek. Or rather, it's a Sharif Senkungu. Oh, some bit of collision over there. Looks like the referee shall be awarding that for the free kick. Some bit of heavy play, I have to admit, from Ian Numusima. Playing a little bit of a rough game here, and uh, referee shall be giving that for the free kick. 
One thing about the playgrounds in Uganda, you can actually see there has to be a garden very close to a playground. And uh, some of the municipalities and the regional governments have to work very hard to improve on the play surface of uh, some of these pitches. It's a super game. It's a very, very good area for football. Good ground. Ball drops away for a corner. Yeah, the beauty of uh, football in Africa is uh, you have very many people that actually follow it perfectly well. That's why the reason that's why you see around the areas and surroundings, you see some people watching the game. An easy parking for some border border riders over there. That is for those who love the game, actually. This corner shall be swung in by Mwazinga Abdallah Yiga, trying to drop that ball inside as Waganaboth, the goalkeeper, on the other side of Hamuaro, straying very much to wait for this ball. Yiga Abdallah, long ball through and over the bar. Very close and yet so far, so close for Beno Nionzima. Just failing to notch that ball into the back of the net. Beno Nionzima, good corner. Very, very good corner. If only he had kept his head a little bit down, Beno Nionzima, then Ntonda should have been leading by one goal to zero. Yeah, you can see the disappointment from Beno Nionzima. Failing to put that ball into the back of the net. Good dummy. Brian Kipro. Dangerman Mania Derek. Likes ball inside the box area and good still. Very good stand again from uh, the back here. They're totally defending very well. Ahamwaro. Alana Hereza. Trying to nick that ball further away and uh, put away for throwing now to Ahamwaro again. He's such a fine footballer to watch. Derek Menya. Nionzima. Asasira Ian. Now to Balikoa Ronald. Looking for Bale Seremba. Nicking that ball right into the midfield position. It's good flicking again from uh, Hamwaro Football Club as they continue to venture and venture. Seen less of Alex Orech. Oh, super skills from there. Very good play from Hamwaro. The one two is connecting. A good shot, not yielding anything, just bubbles away. And now, Charles Fontonda to actually try and attack. Two against one. Referee says it's a fair game. Walter, Ruben Kenne. Ruben Kenne, Walter, on the run through. It is Walter yet again. Opens up the one pass. And stolen away this time round by Ajiga. Looks like uh, the referee has awarded a goal kick there. Ajiga, Ratib, are playing very well here. The jersey number 31 for Ntonda. Sorry, for Ahamwaro. Oh, that's the man himself, the self-proclaimed master of the game in the midfield, Walter Ruban Kennedy, shot number 13 for Ntonda. Napoleon Kisembo. Long ball away from Napoleon, not the best of clearances from Napoleon. Ball is right in the arc of the center. Recollected again, Kaizi Jamir trying to beat his mark as he holds the ball gallantly well in the midfield. Kaizi away by Davidson Komakech. And they are probing, can they keep the ball on play? Oh yes they do, Menya. This is good running from Menya. Menya again, crosses well and points by the keeper. They still have possession. Sharif Sekungu, handball call. And the referee has awarded, penalty. Right there, right there. Penalty has been awarded. Alan Hereza handling the ball inside the forbidden area. And Hamwaro have received a penalty. Who will rule Ntungamo today is the question. Who will get the bragging rights in Ntungamo? It is a penalty. Watch the run here. Very good run from Menya. Crosses that ball. And this is where the penalty comes from. Watch Sharif Sekungu. Very, very well. A little bit of a delay on that one. And good play again was from Menya. Goalkeeper punched that ball. Semakula. It's a penalty, and the penalty shall be taken in by a defender, Chisembo Napoleon. Ahamwaro looking to take the lead. Napoleon Kisembo punched by the keeper Semakula. Well, sometimes you don't need to be very excited from the start of things. And the defender Semakula had the chance to give the lead to Ahamwaro. Just fails to nick that ball in. Waganabo. Looking for Menya. 
Not available. The midfield, Aganga. Recollected by Sharif Sekungu. Recollected in the midfield. This is Moses Bale. Looking for Ruban Kene. It looks like uh, the referee has awarded an offside because uh, Walter Ruban Kene was judged to have been sleeping there by the time the ball was released. It's been very, very slow start to the match here. And also, you can see that the crowd seems to be coming in slowly by slowly. The ball for the fourth yeah. minute here by Ben O'Neill Zima. Sasira. Trying to drive, trying to probe. Looking for more in Abdallah, it's not available. A little bit of a push, referee allows it to continue. A ganga. Oh, that's very super piece of defensive work by Napoleon Kisembo. Sharif Sekungu. Sekungu Sharif, the one two pass. Looking for Davidson Kumakech. Next in by Ainebiona Gerald. Fortunately, Sharif Sekungu just could not receive that ball. Goes for a throw in. Oh, they are taking their time. Bali Koa Ronald. Trying to nick that ball. Ainebiona. Stolen away very, very well here by Blessings in Gabirano. And the pass not that good. It's away by Sharif Sekungu. Sassira Ian right in the midfield. We have seen some pretty good skills from this man. Look at the passing from the hot pink side. And they are looking for Komakech. Walter Rubankene rather. It is Walter Rubankene. Uh, just goes away for a goal kick. It's more pressing coming up from uh, this regional league side. Sharif. That was the handball. Yeah, that was the handball. Sharif Sekungu. And then missed by Napoleon Kisembo. The best day to be in Napoleon. The goal for the forward away to the goalkeeper Semakula Hashim. Driving up further. Ah, Derek, 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 Derek! No ball into the area code They're looking for Walter Ruban Kene is not available. He'll be going out for a goal kick. Some good bit of deliveries from uh, the two sides. Yeah, some of the fans who have turned up for the match you can see from the closer picture. So goal kick for Waganabo be the one trying to deliver this ball in very quickly. Long ball by Naboth. Long clearance onto the wing side. The chase is on here. And uh, looking for more. Shielding was well. Shielding was well by Ben Onionzima. All defending very well today. Alan Ahereza. Making that ball deep down. Walter Ruban Kene. Here comes a chance for Ntunda to attack. Defended well by Ajiga. Walter, Ruban Kene, Moses, who oh, he actually sits on the ball and the referee allows it to continue. Surrounded by Ayabiona, Gerald, but uh, Bale, Seremba, Seremba can't shoot and nicked away perfectly by Davidson Kumakech onto the wing side. The attack is by Sheriff Sekungu. Sekungu holds that run. Sekungu again. Gerald Ayabiona, Sekungu. Long clearance by Ajiga. Heading it back again to play and uh, Sharif in possession. Napoleon. Good movement here. It's a long pass away. Walter. Ruban Kene. And finally gotten away from danger. They are probing and probing the two sides. Actually trying to get something right. Oh, that's a very long ball and it will be going to disorganize the piece of the animals right about there. And uh, goes out for a goal kick now to Ntonda. Or rather, actually, Ahamwaro. Just remember that uh, Ntonda is putting on uh, white. Or actually, Ntonda is actually hot pink. Sorry about that. Ntonda is uh, the white side. Then Ahamwaro is the pink one. Throw in. Brian Kipro. For Hamwaro, trying to press that ball in. It is Mania for Hamwaro. Makes that ball through. And Intonda currently defending that ball gallantly well. Intonda is in the hot pink. Hamwaro in the white. Here they come. Koma catch Ruban Kene. Sorry, Walter Ruban Kene. Faking well. Blessings in Gabirano. 
and stolen off the legs of Moses Bali Seremba. Recollected here by the AFC Lions, turned by Davidson Komakech, away by AMB owner Gerald. And that goes for a throw in yet again to Tonda. Well, Alan Harris is currently playing on the left hand side of play. Making that ball deep down away by Ronald Bilikoa. Given back into the forbidden area code. And the chest continues through. Very good backtracking, really. Fine play, I have to admit, from Beno Neon Zima. Gave away the penalty. And he's uh, redeeming himself perfectly well. And uh, Ian Numusima seems to be having a problem here. Well, look at the size of uh, Beno Neon Zima. Very tall defender there. Slowly by slowly, that's how we are currently rolling up here. As the pressure keeps on piling up, Davidson come and catch. Loses possession, foul awarded by the referee. Get the ball! Still a game that can actually go to anyone's possession. That's the clip on Davidson come and catch. Well brought down by shot number 19 on your screen. It's a long ball deep in. It's away by Benoni on Zima. Now Aganga. Holding up very well Aganga. Moses Bale Seremba. Walter Rubankene. This is Walter on the run. The open up is well inside the D. Can they get that ball through? The one twos are good. They are still probing. They are still looking for more. Oh, that's a poor pass, really. Very, very poor pass. Just goes out now for throwing here to. Hamwaro. Throw by Brian Kipro. And the shielding was not very good this time round. And the referee will award the free kick has been awarded to Menya Derek. Began very quickly. Davidson Komakech. Pushed away by Beno Nyonzima. It's Komakech up against Nyonzima. Oh, very good steal from Beno Nyonzima. Look at him here. Benon. Passes that ball well. Odongo, a Ganga Crispus. Trying to play and trying to get. The Faria has awarded the free kick. It's a free kick here to Ntonda. Such a very, very fine footballer. You can actually watch his runs and his play. Let's see, shot number 10. Abdallah Yiga Mwazinga. What's his name? The shot number 10 there for Ntonda. Simakula, Asasira, looking for Alan Ahereza, trying to venture further forward. This is a chance for Moses Ahereza again, making that ball further forward here. Orech, Moses, Orech again, dropping that ball deep through. Very good piece of defensive work, but not dealt with. And finally, dealt away with Menya Derek here. Menya. Menya, one pass away by Benon. Neon Zima, Walter Ruban Kene. Relax, yes, relax, relax. They're playing very good football here. They're trying to drive the ball through, trying to call the Ntonda side away from their defensive line. That's exactly what they are doing, taking their time. Derek Menya driving that ball further away and recollected from the back. Could be given away. And a fight for the ball is in here. Davidson come catch. Tani World, Swift turn. Brian Kipro. This is Kipro. Long from Kipro. Away by Beno Neon Zima. And uh, Walter Rubankene coming back to help out in some bit of defensive works. Moses. Benon. Oh, intercepted now. Caesar. Beats one. Caesar again. Oh, he actually went down. A little bit easy, Caesar. Very close for Caesar Allworth. Just failing to get the right ball inside. So, so close. Very, very close here for Caesar. The shot number seven. Caesar Allworth. Just currently failing to balance his body well and right. Possibly if he had gone down from the first touch, could have been a different uh, call of the game. Caesar Allworth. Decided to play football with his fours instead of with the twos, and uh, referee allowed it to continue. It's begun quickly by Semakula Hashim. 
A lack of concentration this time round by the Hamwaro, sorry, by the Intunda side. Long ball stolen away. Hamwaro looking for the chess. Good play from the captain, Ainabiona Gerard. Looking for Menya. Derek Menya. Brian Kipro. Brian Kipro nicking. Menya. Swift turn. Very good play here from Menya. And what can they do? It's a long delivered ball by Ajiga. And that goes away to Semakula Hashim. Semakula. Ainabiona. Away by Alana Hereza. Down goes Walter. Not getting the right ball on that one. Scores up to Waga Naboff. Long ball from Waga. Oh, very good play by Sharif Sekungu. Sharif away. Float back in the midfield. Ainabiona loses his bearings. And the referee shall award a free kick this time round to Ntonda. And you can see that Olwotho Caesar is not very happy for that call from the referee. And, uh, let's watch this very closely. I'm actually very surprised as to how that was a free kick for Ntonda. Looks like the foul actually came from behind on Caesar. Should have been a free kick really for the FC Lions. Well, Ajika Ratib is actually on the ground, does not look very comfortable. Yeah, the medical team will actually come down and assess the situation on uh, Ajiga Ratip. Well, they have come here. <laughs> I'm very sure that Patrick uh, Oboy Amuriat will be very happy about that picture. That donation of a t shirt has actually been kept very well. 20 minutes of the gameplay, just only 20 minutes. It's still a very much open ended game here in Intungamo. The battle. Why do you want of uh, Ntungamo is here. You don't use your brain. Go back. Yeah, they're sharing a word right now. You can actually feel that the action will continue right now. Menya Derek not very happy with the referee. And this was a chance for the handball that was missed, really. You can see the handball there. It's given away by Beno Nionzima. And then, uh, was that Beno? Actually, it was Alana Harris who gave away the penalty, sorry. And a uh, good save from the goalkeeper, Semakula Hashim. Missed by Chisembo Napoleon. Well, I think he would have done much, much, much better, Napoleon. But unfortunately, Napoleon wasn't in the right mood of conquest. If you actually studied your history, European history, of uh, the rise and fall of Napoleon Bonaparte, uh, there is a Napoleon Chisembo here but not the Napoleon Bonaparte that we normally talk about in the history books. One of the world's best generals. Unfortunately, the general here who's supposed to be defending was given a chance to score, would have actually tried very much. Could have been one nil. But they actually failed to utilize the option of the penalty. Bouncing ball, Caesar Olwotho. Good height from Beno Nionzima. Now stolen away by Ntunda. As they probe and probe, looking for more for the ball here. And now the chess continues. This is Ajiga. Good play from Napoleon. Waganabo. Sharif Sekungi. And could be recollected right in the midfield. Walter Komakech loses his bearings. It's stolen away. Looking for Brian Kipro. Trying to open up on Menya. Very swift turn from Menya. The chess is on Menya yet again. Goes very far to Ajiga Rati. Oh, there was a handball up there. Could be a chance through. Crossball nice. Inside the D and well done. Very, very good piece of defensive work. Like I told you, we expect some good football. And indeed, we are enjoying the match here. Look at that for skill. Menya Derek. He's been very outstanding. Looking for Caesar Olwotho. It is Caesar. Caesar again drives that ball into the box line. Goes back into the path of Kaizi Jamir. They are probing. They are looking. They are looking to shoot on one. Back through. Shot very poor this time round by Menya Derek. This goes away for a goal kick. Menya 
Meyer Derrick, such a fine footballer. Some good skills he has actually shown here. Menya Derrick. Well, the fans are currently expecting more. It's very good to see some of the regional fans putting on the jerseys of their clubs. It's a very good indicator that uh, the game of football in this country is actually very bright. Orech looking for blessing and the ball goes for throw. And the throw shall be brought in quickly for Ntonda. Hopefully it will be Orech to throw. But it looks like uh, the throw in shall be left for Alan Ahereza to try very much and drop that ball in very quickly. Alan Ahereza, long ball, takes a slight deflection, goes out for a corner. Ntungamo is where we are. Very cold, very, very cold afternoon in Ntungamo. It's been a very cold afternoon, but hopefully we'll be able to enjoy the entire game as it pans up through. Shall be a corner. And the goalkeeper Wagana both well inside there waiting for the delivery that shall be brought in quickly by shot number 10, Mwazinga Abdallah Yiga. Long from Abdallah, another punch away by Wagana both. And they are chasing, totally chasing. Piling the ball right in the midfield with more energy, long clearances further away. Nobody in particular, the goalkeeper Semakula Hashim shall be the one to come out here to try and receive that ball through Semakula Hashim takes his time the captain of Ntonda looking for more possession of skills in here shielding it far that was blessings in Gabirano blessing in Gabirano long pass this time round by Balikoa Ronald Semakula Hashim well, they're building the pressure from the back, trying to open up Alana Hereza. Trying very much to get something for himself here. Orech. Alex Orech just loses the ball and uh, will be going out for throw to Hamwaro. Sharif Senkungu will be the one to try very much and get this ball in very quickly. Sharif Senkungu. Sekungu. Napoleon. Trying to bounce away. Trying to look for Caesar Olwotho. It's a good play from Beno Nionzima. Semakula Hashim. Beno Nionzima. One two with Balikoa. Beno Nionzima. Balikoa. Good play from Moses. Balikoa. Trying to open up on Walter. Ruban Kene. Good play from Abdallah. Right in the center of the park. Big clearance. Dealt away by Sharif Senkungu. Oof. <laughs> well, right in front of the referee, the kick. But it looks like the referee has allowed it to continue. Oh, the nicking is not that bad. Alex Orech looking to measure that pass through. Orech with the delivery. It's over the bar. Well, he's trying to drive in and try and get the goalkeeper off his line. Wagana both Orech. Not the best, really. Actually, there's a swift change between Walter Rubanken and Orech. Almost resembling there. It was a good ball in from uh, Walter Rubanken and not Orech. Oh, pardon me on that. And uh, it's been a change of play. Walter Rubankin has actually now drifted to the right hand side as Alex Orech has come to the left. Throw brought in by Balikoa. It's a poor ball in by Balikoa. I think he was actually trying to go for that cross because uh, he did see Mazinga Abdallah Yiga inside there but not delivering well. Balikoa run out. Waga Naboth. 27 minutes played here today. Ntonda playing their second game of the regional league. Meanwhile, Hamwaro are playing their third game of the regional league. The last time that Hamwaro played the game, they actually managed to beat a side called uh, Rubare Football Club by three goals to nil. And they'll be trying very much to see if they can continue to collect some very good results for themselves in the western part of the country. Long ball further forward. 
looking to get more action in here. They are swifting and they are moving. Trying to nick up and trying to get some action away. It's actually very interesting to see how the social media team of Western Regional Football Association is actually working well. They are totally updating minute after minute or what exactly is going on on the ground. So I have to say big up to the media team of the Western Region Football Association for the minute by minute update down on your social media pages. So well, if you can't be able to watch the game live on TV, then you can actually follow the action on social media and also on the FUFA page too. The Lions continue to roar as they try to look for something for themselves in here. It's going to be a corner. Shall be delivered in by Abdallah Yiga. Long by Abdallah. A chance headed away from the actual position. Moses Bale! Headed away by Brian for another corner. Well, Brian Kipro is putting a head on that one. Corner. Another corner coming up here for Ntonda. Mwazig Abdallah Yiga shall be the one to try very much and uh, get that ball inside the forbidden area. Now sometimes when you are following of been following uh, the regional leagues, you actually see how another corner there. The local local uh, fans normally love to come very close to the line. It's the reason that's why they've tried to put a strip over there together with some bit of uh, poles standing through so that the crowd does not get itself inside the play area. And if you look at the Chigezi sub-region, Ruampara Bulls are leading the table with the five points. Closely followed by Ahamuaro Football Club. With uh, Actually, Ruampara have four points, rather. It's four points for Ruampara. And closely followed by Ahamuaro with four points, too. Then bottom of the table, Rukinjiri, Rukungiri United Football Club. They've played two games. They have actually lost all the two. And they've conceded uh, two goals. And uh, Chigezi sub region actually has about 11 clubs playing there. Rwampara, Hamwaro, Gorilla Highlands, Akataka, Chigezi FC, Ntonda, which is at number six on the table log, Rubare Football Club, then Chigezi Homeboys Football Club. Surprisingly, Chigezi Homeboys are number eight on the table. Let's play, let's play, let's play. They have actually collected only one point out of the two games they have played. They've drawn one and they've lost one. Chigezi Homeboys. Then there is Chigezi Harambe Soccer Club. Mwizi Football Club. Are all the ones that come all the way from the Chigezi sub-region. The attack continues to drive up. Ball just goes away for a throw-in. Well, this is Chamate Playground. That's why we are here live in Ntungamo, the Chamate Playground. Well, other games to be played today in Chigezi, we have Terrazzo and Tiles Football Club. They're actually up against a team called uh, Buiziwera United. The game is being played at the Bishop Stewart. Uh, that is in Kibingo. It's a match between Rushere Football Club and Ibanda Municipal. Our game is being played in Biharwe Playground. And also tomorrow, we shall be having more action. Now this is stolen away, collected well again, inside the D, blessing in Gabirano on the turn. Lays that ball through, but the goalkeeper, Waga Naboth, receiving that ball perfectly well. Well, tomorrow, 6 o'clock, we'll be up against Bushenyi, Bushenyi Veterans. There will be a game to be played at 4 p.m. live on TV. 6 o'clock and Bushenyi Veterans. There will be some action to be played tomorrow. And also tomorrow we shall be having Barara Rangers up against Bunyaruguru United. Nyami Chobora FC will be up against uh, Bunyaruguru Tigers. Chigezi Homeboys will be up against Chigezi Harambe. Rwampara Bullets will be up against Akataka tomorrow. Rubare will be up against Mwizi. And those other games will be played all at 4 p.m. reason that's why this game is being played today at uh, 2 p.m. is because... There is 
a game in the FUFA Big League going on in Masindi between Boma up against Soroti City. That game shall be played at uh, 4 p.m. That's why they wanted this game to be played early. In the Big League, Neck is leading. Yeah, some of the latest information we are getting. The National Enterprise Corporation leading that side in the Big League. And uh, take some time to dance. That's the beauty of the game. will be a yellow card. Yeah, yellow card has been brandished here. And the referee runs a little bit far away. Just couldn't be able to see who has received the yellow card here. Long ball, father. Looking for the options. The long ball for the way prior Jiga. Trying to drive and trying to drive here. Ball stolen away by Ayabiona. There's a ball back behind. Well, basically, the junior league is actually also going on. Davidson. Oh, down goes Caesar on Wotho. Looks like the referee waves away the penalty claim. But Caesar on Wotho had actually gone down. What seemed to have been a penalty. Not awarded. Oops. We're well, just reminding you that the juniors, the junior league is also going on well. And there's a match between Neck Junior and Edgar's youth. That game is going on right now. And uh, Nick Jr. was leading by four goals to one. At the time, we actually got some information early. Tunda playing very well in the midfield. Moses Bale Serimba. Actually, it's Aganga Crispus, rather. Aganga. Get a drop. Blessing Gabirano. Get a drop. Trying to look for Moses. Stolen away there by Kaizi Jr. Good play from the captain. Gerald Ainebiona. I think he loves us. Uh, from a Liverpool captain, Steven Gerrard. He's called Gerrard. The other one was called Gerrard, and that's the reason that's why he went with the shot number eight, Ainebiona Gerald of uh, Hamuero. Yellow card has been given out. And they have been collecting yellow cards in Tonda. And they receive yet another yellow card. That goes to Ngabirano Blessing. Receiving a yellow card for that foul on Brian Kipro. Well, I think it's okay to continue Brian Kipro. Let's watch this very well from the closer side. And uh, Kipro, oh, look at that. Look at that there from uh, Blessing in Gabirano. Very good call from the referee. Oof, oh my goodness. Can actually break somebody's meta taste like that. Simakula. Only the ball well, Hashim Semakula playing well today. Get a drop! Hey! Semakula. Oh! Lack of concentration from Alan Ahereza. You need to keep your eye on the ball all the time. Davidson. But now stolen away. But the referee has awarded a free kick here. Oh, actually, no. It's a bad throw. According to the referee, he says that the players of Ahamwaro do not know how to throw the ball. So maybe the players of Ntonda can teach them how the ball is thrown. It's confirmation of the yellow card. Blessing Ngabirano receiving that yellow card. Clicked on back here perfectly and uh, still piling up the pressure. Menya trying to be very cheeky and clever Menya here. And he wins the call from the referee. Baliko Aruna bringing down on Amenya Derek. Could have taken a hit to the face. Very clear. Look at this flick here. One. <laughs> and it's see you. And at the end of the day, Baliko Aruna said, My friend, I still see you here. There is nowhere you're going. Ajiga. Ajiga. that ball further away. Good play from Moses Bale. Bale Moses with the open side of the boot. Licking that ball away to Walter Rubankene. Alana Hereza and another corner here for Ntonda. They've actually get to, gotten more corners than uh, the other side. They've gotten more corners compared to the corners actually that have been given away by Hamwaro. Oh, 
uh, still wondering why everybody is running away. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, it is the western part of the country. The rain comes anytime. Long ball, headed away. Like I told you, it's actually very, very cold. It's very cold today in Intungamo. Very cold. And now the rain has actually come in a little bit early, trying to disorganize the party. Well, I'm very sure that the supporters of Sports Club Villa and the supporters of KCCA will remember this speech very well. I don't know if you guys do remember this speech, but now it's stolen away. Here they come again. Ahamwaro with the pass. They're not getting anything well. Semakula. Odom. The Ganga Crispus. Good play from Walter. Fortunately for Walter, just fails to keep the ball on play. Goes away for a throw in here to Tonda. Sorry, a Hamwaro rather. That's more pressing up. The defense still standing tall. Good play on that side by Caesar. He's doing everything he can to make sure he wins possession and takes a hit to the head, Caesar. And uh, poor control yet again by Walter Ruban Kene. Five minutes to half time. There's only five. It's the Western Regional League going on well. I'm very sure that uh, those from the northern part will also be asking for their match to be on TV. They will be coming up very shortly. Don't worry. If only and only this stadium would be modernized. This playground would be modernized into maybe a mini stadium. It would be very nice. So some very good play surface here, I have to admit. The space is still there. So hopefully, hopefully, are those who actually are responsible for the running of this facility. Some of them could be listening and watching to me right now. See how we can actually invest in making Tunga more great by having a very good sports facility. Run ball, Moses. Looking to push that ball further away. Here they come in Tonda. Ruban Kene Walter crosses deep, crosses bad. But the good of uh, crosses from uh, Walter Ruban Kene. Waga. Ajiga. He's collected in the midfield. You're looking to pass that ball through Kaizi Jr. Jamie Rada. Collecting very well here with uh, Menya. Kipro. Down goal Caesar Olwotho. Oh, no. Okay, by Brian Kipro yet again. He's still a possession. Good play from Kaizi. Now here comes Menya Derek. Menya. Ajiga. Kaizi Jamir. Ajiga. Change of play now to Kisembo Napoleon. Long from Kisembo. Nobody in particular. Straight up to the goalkeeper there, Semakula Hashim. Just three minutes over. No more time remaining to play for. Just only three. And turned that up against uh, Ahamwaro. Also called FC Lions. Uh, FC Lions putting on the white here. Jamir Kaizi. On the open is Menya Derek. Trying to chase and chase, trying to probe and probe Menya. Holds that ball well and brings it back into the path of Junior Kaizi. Jamir Kaizi rather. Oh, good flicking by Davidson. Koma catch. Koma. Ajiga. Menya. Back to Ajiga Ratib. It's a very, very poor ball uh, from Ajiga this time round. Just goes up to the goalkeeper, Simakula Hashim. Neon 
nzima. Tonga keep the pressure up and uh, give away the throw. Action more game. Chances pan, chances go. It's more action that moves on down. As we have more of the size looking for avenue and play. It's more action coming in from Kipri. And Kipro is willing to keep that ball on play. Kipro. Throw brought in very quickly. More action. Panning up perfectly. Good switch ball through. The passes are not that bad, really, from uh, Ntonda. The final, final ball is the problem. Well, the beauty about Uganda is that one time it begins to rain, on the other it actually goes down. And. Uh, what seemed to be heavy rain has actually subsided and now we actually have the fans back here to enjoy their football slight slight stresses of uh, a drizzle but uh it won't actually affect anyway the game keep up one minute added menya is on the ground away by jamiru kayizi wasted ball from uh, kayizi just goes away for uh, goal kick now to semakula hashim Hashim Simakula. Nionzima. Benon Nionzima. Long from Benon. Ball flicked in well as they keep on piling the pressure. Away to the keeper, Nabotwaga. We're just a few seconds away from the first 45 minutes to come to an end. Down in Ntungamo. It is the Ntungamo Dabi. A battle between Ntonda and Hamwaro. And uh, he's still bragging like rights rather. Waiting to see who will be walking away as the champion of Ntungamo today. Ntonda at number six. Hamwaro at number two. Oof, ay -ay -ay. It was a very hard tackle there. Feeling the effect of that kick. Balikoa Ronald. The jersey number two. Moses goes hard on uh, Caesar. And wait a moment, looks like the referee has blown the whistle. That brings us to the end of the first 45 minutes here. Ntonda and Hamwaro. Well, the two sides have actually played very, very good football today. Unfortunately for the side, in the names of Ahamwaro, they got a chance for the goal and they failed to score from the penalty spot. Chisembo Napoleon denied by the goalkeeper, Semakula Hashim. But also we did see Ntonda probing and probing, trying to get something for themselves. But they actually failed to yield at the first 45. Kayizi seems to have picked up a knock there. The shot number 18, Jamil Kayizi. That is very much okay to continue. As are the side here of Ntonda come together and begin discussing matters that actually come their way. Moses Bale Seremba has been very outstanding in the midfield. Crispus Aganga has also been playing very well in that midfield. We have seen more of Walter Rubankene, more of Blessing Ngabirano coming back to defend. And of course, Beno Nionzima played perfectly well in the game. But all in all, you have to give it on to both sides. They've actually put up a very, very spirited performance here today in the FUFA Western Regional AFA League here. It is still very much open-ended. It is Hamwaro nil, Ntonda nil at half time. So don't go away. We'll be back with more action for you and more football for you in the next 45 live all the way from Intungamo. Let me leave you with these pictures and when we come back, it's more football for you live.
course, ladies and gentlemen, you're most welcome. And that has been the first uh, 45 minutes of the game uh, between Tonda FC taking on uh, um, uh, Lions FC. Of course, the name will be uh, subjected that will be coming next season. But right now, it's here known as uh, a Kamel FC. Still, zero, zero, of course, with a Kamel FC, uh, an open chance. It was a penalty, and of course, it was denied by uh, the goalkeeper for Tonda FC. And the game still stands 0-0. Zero, zero. Of course, with me, uh, my colleagues um, uh, from this place, from the region, uh, the sons of the soil of the western region to be analyzing the game with me tonight of course one is timothy Emmanuel, and of course another and they will be introducing themselves of course to tell me how they're going to be telling me of course a little bit uh timothy first yes, you must welcome yes sir. um uh, timothy just tell me a little bit uh, of, of, of uh, the first 45 minutes and of course tell it to me into the local language of this place and tell the people let them know what's going on in this region western region okay to the ash i achieve a request to church amate stadium of district and tonga move range reserve by uganda to end up with a zaba and to bona avasa kubadi visa shai kwete jede zompiro omurimo ruito riyanko ruchiga gurumpira baguita agenda bakuri yaba kumbekete because in the western derby a team ya lions batter deal competition uh, bakata and ka 2018 in kakadem ba kuza team erujirimwe ka forming a senior team we kichira qualifying kija kuzana western regional league one nino soko kweba za fufa icho nchiteka mulunya muluganda fufa this is the first local event this is the first local event fufa jeka valize wano western region and nadala mpira jam western region this is the first game uh, being live on fufa tv so we have to think uh, fufa and mr mogogo icho chose wala chikwe katu ino because we are setting Fufa iliku setting a history Okula mantitufu no mupiro Gusoka kuntimbeza Fufa TV Abantaba liyomu Ranger Rizoba Yona Ranger Rizoba goza hoda Efromu Kanungu Kisoro Antunga Mombalala Lukunjiri Bushenyi Isinjiro Abantubona baramumba Rebo mupira Dede tuwa garuka mupira Team ya Lions They are playing well Because their coach is experienced Akatende kwa team ya Arua Hills so he has that yeah, in a technical season so we are team wage to samba na waro kuba mbazana ba kora buri chimwe ba missing a penalty it was it was a chance that they would have used to score but they couldn't use it na ye ni mayan kuba ragaruko mu cheka cha kabiri they will try to create more chances and score then aside the anto def scene this is a derby omupira yer derby game at any time, anyone can win in Mubirebo Murumunjere, so about Vipers, KCC, Kampala. Sometimes in Tobantu, expecting a Vipers, Guna, Guriaba, Gendo, Kora, Wetting, Garoja, Smarta, but a good day, or Lucy Tobatu, so we don't KCC, Guna, Gendo, Guriaba, Gendo, Kora, Wetting, Gabosa, Bakubi, and Yanda. So this is a double game, and these teams are in Tungamo. I hate to read, his team is in Hazy Komoka, so we expect Kujanti, uh, Molalo, your game. Area he guru mnoonga. Then the team ya Ntoda, Ntoda, they are playing the unomga kagua mukag, unomga kagua mukag baruku zana Western region into the league. So they have experience. They have a player here, Rubanke de Water. Yasambira ko team ya UPDF. He was even if he comes from Ginger Masese. He's experienced. By now, Yasambira ya by experience. Ntoda compared to Lion, the Lion is back as Zimbakat. Their team is a product of the junior team they started in 2018. They are academy. So Boba Akav, Boba Zimba, uh, can the team ya Anto Dayo, exchange eh, him as a Miyaka Mukage Rukuzana. So, no basak take a take and with his experience in Toda, but against uh, Rayons who are very well organized. But we think Mr. Costa, a eh, Chuekecha Kabri expecting Angu Lions being a chance, Yoktual game. Okay, uh, Timothy, that is Timothy, of course, a local journalist here, of course, giving it live to you on Fufa TV. And of course, I'll be taking in Emma and now, and Emma will actually, Timothy gave, gave it to me in um, Lunyankole, and then Emma will give it to me in English. Okay, yes. Thank you so much. Uh, today's game, it has ended at 0, zero half time, and we expected this game, actually, like how I told you before the game started, that I expect this game to end in a stereo match. And anyway, and in this game, by the way, I told you uh, earlier before, that it's a game of a contest. It's a game that is big on each side. And I really think uh, Lions FC and Toda, they have something in common, because they use the same pitch, 
church and they are within the same locality and I think even the, the fans, the fans around, each of the fans is just telling the other that we must win this game. So it, that's why I told you this game carries a lot of intensity. And like how we saw the first half, how it ended, uh, we saw some a bit of uh, uh, a tie because Ntoda would be uh, striving live, uh, just moving up front, and at the same time you see uh, Lions also taking them the other uh, side. But uh, we saw some kind of uh, level of Ntoda, because Ntoda I told you it is a team that had been uh, playing quite a while in the region league, and it has uh, more experienced players, if you compare them to the Lions F Six years yeah. into the regional league. To the regional league. And you see they are more experienced as you compare them to these uh, players of FC Lions because these are um, uh, ma uh, mature players against the young players but who are so hungry to achieve and uh, you can also uh, see that Lions FC they are still uh, modifying they are still modifying because I told you the first two games they made a draw and a win so they are still uh, trying to see if they can acclimatize the situation and again if you see uh, in Toda FC uh, they have this kind of uh, maturity they think they can win it all if uh, someone and saw the game they played with Rukunju United. They played the last minute until when they scored when there were just three minutes at the end of the game. So they still believe they can achieve the, uh, this result. So I think what stands out in this game, it is the maturity against the team that is so young and hungry for the uh, research. Okay, of course, next one will be coming. I don't know. I think we can also give it Luganda this time round after getting Runyankole and English there. And of course, Luganda, my friend, is here. So you must welcome. I'm fine. Hmm. How do you here? Okay, we were we beat that scan because we Amalo, Nibare Melo Kuban Toda, Chitegez and Tika Tonda, about the chance of Nava Chenkan, by no Sigalanti, very competitive or Kuberanti, by winning or Mopirogo, Nayan and the Agade, a crusade young, and the Agade, teams in Oxigalanga, Ziri very focused, Okubera Zicha Sambo, El Mopira, which are Ligumo, as Zibirenga Zichu Sachu Samo, by promoting Gompira Guafe and Tungamo, nothing to very good lunch. Of course, a Togeko Catino Kuchi to Chabatin is only. Mutende I know so Kazimba team ne midfield, midfield de connecting any attackers, Ziba Bidenti Bamanyagana. A cause this is our wing wings is you know, Sisawe Chigazinho. Ate Tayagala Kugula wings, Ziba Bidenti Bakosa wings, Katia Wokosa winger, Zinga Bali active, Chijakuleto Wuzibu, who defend as Ziba Ahamal, Kubelanti Bawi. Of course, are there we go, ladies and gentlemen, what would the mania? Nzendi Andrew, Prince Andrew. Of course, Andrew has said it all in Luganda. And of course, I'll be bringing back Timothy uh, to tell me his prediction into the next 45 minutes of the game. Uh, Timothy must welcome once again, of course. Um, Timothy, let's mix now uh, to our viewers. So actually, to Luganda. Luganda, Luganda English. English, anything, of course, Timothy. I know you can do it. Uh, Timothy, um, actually, if you're the coach of the two teams, just tell me in a few minutes from now, the game is starting. Just your prediction, we're going. Um, Alliance, they are playing well, but they are displaying some secondary football. You know, dodging, passing well, but they're finishing. They still have those young boys. Abasambo, Mupira, Go, Kweiraka. Those are TV football. And then in Toda, it is Lions. Uh, young boys who are hungry against Ntoda who are experienced Gwana Gambia Dante by name Yaka Mukaga but eventually me to me I think Lions will take the game. Well, of course he says Lions FC will be taking on the game. I'm constant Alan shall be going back into the second half. The fourth five minutes of the game. It is so so entertaining. Into the commentary box is none other than Peter Outai. <laughs>
Aleta, 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 aleta. for the final call from the center referee memory to actually get us underway here he'll be able to blow the whistle very shortly I just love the way the crowd has actually turned up for this match they've come through to give some bit of support to both it's a battle of Intungamo it's a battle over the area it's a long ball father four just goes away and the chest for Brian Kipro now headed back into the path of Brian Kipro yet again, flicks it back in play. Finally, he goes away for a throw in. Throw in. And to be brought in by Alana Harris. That will be the one to get that ball in very quickly. He's looking for Alex Orich. And Brian Kipro does very well to keep hold of that. And uh, not uh, giving any position to Orich. Alex to run away with the ball. Abdallah, very good turn. Crosses through, just it's in! Finally to back up the net! Walter Rubankene! Beautiful goal from Walter Rubankene! Makes it 1-0 in this Ntungamo Derby! You can listen to the sound and the matching from Walter. Oh, that's a very high one. That's a very high one from Walter Rubankene. And this is the meaning of the match. That's the meaning of the goal. Ntoda leading by 1-0, Walter Ruban Kene, the goal scorer of this. And hopefully, we expect more from this match. Good ball through, very good turn from Abdallah. And when he swung the ball, Walter Ruban Kene was right there to knock that ball home. Out of the boot pass, beautiful out of the boot pass. But again, the celebration from Walter Ruban Kene, beautiful. Well, we shall see. Could be a substitution coming through now. Siraji is coming in. The Lions are making a substitution. Siraji will be coming in the jersey number 11. Will come through to see if he can play some remaining minutes. In comes Siraji. Long ball for the forward here. And then collected right in the midfield by Moses Bale. We love to call him Musa. But his names are Moses Bale Seremba. Actually, even uh, Musa is Moses, so no problem. Christmas Ganga. Ben Onion Zima. Musa. No pass from Musa. Thrown away by Menya Derek. Trying to be very fast on that ball, Menya Derek, but the uh, ball just goes away for a throw. Sharifa Sekungu trying to get on with this game here. Well, it looks like it will be a free kick according to the referee. And also substitution, blessings in Gavirano is off. Well, blessings in Gavirano. We expected more from him. And uh, just got in less from him, but uh, we don't see if the new entrant can actually change things here. It's more it's good play in the midfield here by Chris Pass. Trying to nick that ball onto the further side. Alan Hereza. Corner. Well, they've actually been very outstanding. The first 45 minutes, they were very outstanding. Here they come again. And they receive another corner. Brought in very well and uh, not yielding anything from there, just goes away. But they still have possession, poor control. Walter Bataga looking for room inside the D, chance for the shot, very poor this time round. And the shot number 17, Bataga. Brought in some bit of excitement into the game at a wasted ball from a uh, Ganga Crispus. 17 is Bataga Juma coming in as a replacement for Blessing Gabirano for 
Mtoda So play in the midfield here Continue to venture from one side to the other Kamaro also made a sub the brought in shot number 11 Sikamanya Siraj and hopefully Sikamanya uh, Siraji can actually come down and change the way the game is supposed to move long ball father looking for Menya he's not available Donda go and Toda go defensive Ball right in the midfield, stolen away by Walter Ruban Kene. Straight to the goalkeeper Waga Naboth. Well, if you look at uh, Ahamwa, Ahamwaro, basically they are new into regional league football. They were promoted from the district uh, football league. And this is their very, very first season, you have to admit, for them to play in the regionals. And if you look at Toda. A season they actually almost got relegated by the way oh, they actually went on to sell most of their players and then they began performing poorly in the second round and survived last season as it stands right now Toda is actually using the academy players most of the academy players from the academy called lion soccer academy that's where they actually got some of the players playing for them today it has to be a very, very good academy. Pass from Siraji. Looking for more, looking for Menya. And there's a pool here. Hurry once again to get on Siraji's way. Napoleon does very well. A while ago, Nunsima also came off. It's more piling up pressure. To the path, trying to get more bodies further away. And the chess is on. Siraji, Simakula. Trying to make that ball further, but nothing yielding. Nothing coming from here. Still a very cagey, cagey game between the two sides as they pile the pressure. Caesar on Warthor. Goes out for a throw in. Not very happy is Ben on Nionzima. Throw brought in quickly by Kipro. Looking for a jigger. Oh, here comes uh, Ainebiona Gerard. Back to his goalkeeper, Waga Naboth. Waga. Napoleon. Naboth Waga. Very long goal here from uh, Waga. Looking for Menya Derek. Keeps that ball on play. It's Menya inside the D, cross as well, and there's a chance here. Unlucky, unlucky. We'll be going out for a goal kick. It looks like it was a terrible, terrible lunch from there. At the time, Menya got the ball well, tried very much to nick it in, and uh, just wasted away by Caesar Olwotho. Well, the goalkeeper, Semakula Hashim, is currently on the ground, complaining of being fouled by Caesar Olwotho. If you watch the replay again, you see that Caesar Olwotho had the right to go for that ball. Well, Sekamanya, Sekamanye, coming in for Imusima. It's confirmation of that substitution. We're having a problem with his wrist, the goalkeeper. Simakula Hashim. As it stands at the only goal of the moment, that goal scored by Walter Rubankene, currently separating the two sides in this uh, Ntungamo Dabi. Ntungamo currently is uh, painted the colors that belong to the one and only Toda FC and if you look at the way things are standing Toda is uh, number six on the table league they've already played one game before they scored only one goal it's the second goal they've scored in the regionals in Toda and that was uh, the avenue I still insist that uh, Caesar Olwotho I think this is a much better picture here 
If you watch well, Caesar Olwoto had the right to go for that ball. The goalkeeper was a little bit far from collecting it. It was not yet in his arms. There, you can see, Caesar had all the right to go for that ball. And that's the reason that's why the referee did not award a free kick on that. Goes away for a goal kick instead. Yeah. And uh, shall be wasting a few precious seconds. Semakula Hashim. We're getting some bit of medical attention. They are the ones leading, by the way, by 1-0. So they have no hurry. 55 minutes. The goal scorer, Walter Rubankene. You can see him there. The shot number 13. Beautiful goal he scored after Mwazinga Abdallah Yiga did a very good job to lay that ball in. And again, Waga Naboth, what was he thinking? Out of the boot path. And Waga was supposed to go for that ball. And that celebration. That celebration there from uh, Walter Rubankene. Stamping his authority inside the box of uh, the opponent. Hamwaro. Close, 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 close. Close. Alan. There's a ball further away. In the midfield they are back again to Alan Ahereza. Putting on the shot number 36. Combining very well there with Asasira. And stolen away. Down goal, Caesar on Wofo. Penalty, no. And it will be a goal kick. Well, they're demanding a penalty. They're demanding a penalty. Do they get the penalty? I don't think so. And the referee is telling Caesar on Wofo. Now, that was a dive. That was a dive. The next time you dive, I'll give you a yellow card. That's your final warning. Do you get me? Now go away. <laughs> very good command of the game from the referee memory. Let's watch this very closely. Was there any kind of contact? Oh no, there wasn't contact. There wasn't contact whatsoever. That was a sweet dive. Here we go. And uh, Caesar Olwoto sent to the green and won by the referee. Pass back to the goalkeeper Waga Naboth. Away by Waga. Even back around the midfield area, Musa can't keep the ball on play. It is stolen away by Menya Derek. It's Menya. Menya yet again. The tackles flying in and good piece of defensive work. Yet again, Ahereza Allen using those legs well to his advantage. It was a little bit shorter. I don't think if he would do that. Good play from. Uh, Davidson. Well done, Davidson. Just said on the line, but uh, said the ball had actually crossed the cross line for a throw in. <laughs> Amaro still trailing by 1 0. That goal scored by Walter Ruban Kene, separating the two sides here. Yeah. Here is Alan looking to deliver this ball long and deep. Sends it further away. It is collected by the goal scorer. And picked in well by Aganga. Stolen away by Brian Kipro. And then repossessed by Kaizi Jamiru. And if you Kipro. Looking for that ball. The ball just goes for the way. Looking to Ajiga. Will be allowing you to go up for a throw in here. Begun very quickly. This is Bra uh, Gerald Ayebiona. And if you plays well. Ajiga Ratib is away. And called back into play by Asasira. Gerald. Davidson. Now the danger man, Menya Derek. He's on the byline, Menya. What can he do? He's dancing his way. It's Menya going down very easily. And stolen away by Alan Ahereza. He's been very solid at the back, Alan Ahereza. Very, very solid. And uh, from out to in. Can they keep the ball on play? Very good backtracking from the captain, Gerard Ayinebiona. Pushes that ball away if they throw in. They're looking to get it very quickly on the path. Musa. Musa again. On the line. Is that Musa? It's actually Abdallah Yiga. Crosses. Deflects away. Now stolen. Sandwiching is what is going on in here. Jamir. Not very happy with the way his uh, colleague is actually playing here. That is uh, Sekamanye Siraji. Totally sandwiched. And uh, sandwiched well by Bataga Juma. Alongside uh, Moses Bale. Tracked well and tracked perfectly. Pushed away for a throw in by Benon Nionzima. 
Napoleon. Trying to nick that ball further up. Ball still on. And uh, what does the referee say? It's a throw in. There will be a throw in here for Hamwaro. Well, uh, Menya Derrick actually slightly resembling Risa Sechisambu. Slight, slight resemblance. Slightly anyway. Menya fighting his way. Nicks it back into the path here. They're looking for something, Gerald. Just can't get the shot in. Brian Kipro. Away they continue. Recollected here. Long ball by Intoda. Now here comes the man, Walter. Ruban Kenny, the goal scorer. Very pacey player, Ruban Kenny Walter. And it's swept away from danger by Ajiga Rati. Sweet run from Walter Ruban Kenny. Very good run from him. 30 minutes remaining to play. Just only 30 minutes of the game remaining to go. Can it order collect their very first win? They're looking for that win. They're currently chasing the win in Toda. Here they come again. Crossball nice. Swept away by Napoleon for a corner. 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 Toda. Still looking to get the ball in very very quickly it's a corner that shall be swung in still waiting to confirm on who will be the swinger moses bale serimba brings in a nice one it's headed away from danger well, the volley wasn't the best really coming in from a defender Asasira ian They're trying to do some acrobatic stuff in this match Asasira ian are very lucky that they still have possession of this ball and uh, Alan Nahereza shall be the one to try very much to push that ball in very quickly the shot number 36 Alan here is Alan flowed out again by Sharif Sekungu Alan Nahereza yet again Abdallah Yiga plays well Abdallah takes the space now on the wing side Bataga with the cross and gotten away, but not very far. This is Alan. Abdallah Yiga waiting for that ball, but Isa Bataga. Away by Davidson. Now Sharif. Kaizi. Back to Kaizi. Utilizing the space right in front of him well. Long pass. Super long pass. Looking for Menya. There wasn't any Menya there. There was a Caesar on Watho. Well, you can see the head coach of uh, the FC Lions team trying very much to see if he can bring the boys back into the game. Hamoro has tried to put everything into this match, but uh, nothing yet yielding for them. So it's 28 minutes remaining to play for, just only 28 minutes of, go of the game to go. Big ball by Benon. It's collected away by Brian Kipro. On the chest, on the same ball. Kipro. Down he goes. Straight kick awarded. There is a fan actually running onto the pitch there, you can see. Now they're currently getting closer to the line. And that's very dangerous. It's very, very dangerous play. But uh, Brian Kipro. Switching that ball longer and a handball. That ball did not go out really. That's a handball. Let's wait and see confirmation from the referee. Yeah, that's a handball. He actually held the ball. Supposed to be a yellow card there for, <laughs> for handling the ball. He's been very lenient to the referee memory. Very, very lenient with uh, his cards. Napoleon. Waga. Napoleon again. Back to Waga. Learn from Waga Naboth and then they collect the ball back to the path of Ajiga. Ainebiona Gerald looking for Kipro and uh, Caesar Olwotho just can't keep the ball on play. Balikoa takes it back, chance for the driving ball, it's over the bar. That to me was one of the best chances that the away side Hamoro would have utilized, but they decided to hurriedly go for this. And Semakula Hashim, the goalkeeper, was not very happy about his defense. 
Asasira and Benoni Onzima don't know exactly what they were doing. And Brian Kipro just failing to take the advantage of that uh, loose ball from the defense. Hashim Semakula. Long ball for the forward now collected right into the center of the pitch. The time is very well by Anebiona. Gerald. Davidson. Long pass again. The wing, but the flag is up for the offside on Menya Derek. Menya is off. There's about 25 minutes of the game remaining to play, and uh, currently you can say the advantage stands in the path of Ntoda. Ntoda will try very much to hold on to the lead. And if you look at the away side, Hamoro have tried very much to rely on uh, the services of Menya Derek. He's been very outstanding. Still failed to get the ball past the goalkeeper. And now here they come. Bataga Juma. Juma Bataga lays it through. The zero pass wasn't perfect. And that's a shot that goes outside for a goal kick. Juma! 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 Oh, he's trying to get one. Aganga Crispus. Trying to get one for himself here. Napoleon. Just easily goes away for a throw in. Throw shall be brought in by Alana Hereza. Bataga Juma trying to beat on and Sharif Sekungu. Bataga does well. It is Bataga and Sekungu throws his body right there. Goes away for corner. Perfect play. Really good running from Juma Bataga. Utilizing his pace well and his body much better. And uh, good skills there from Sharif Sekungu just to put that ball away for a corner. And that corner shall be brought in by Mazinga Abdallah He was the provider of the goal scored by Walter Ruban Kene. And he's here to try very much and drop the corner in. Not the best of corners. And the defense standing well there. Ajiga and Napoleon putting it away for throwing. For Ntoda. Throw began very quickly by Alan. Another throw. Alan will try very much again to throw this ball inside. Alan Ahereza looking to go long. Does go long and another poor throw. It's going to be the second poor throw that we're actually seeing in this match. Sharif Sekungu being told to go back behind by the center referee memory. Good turn here, Davidson. Right at the center, stolen away. Davidson recollecting, it's Davidson. Very good skills here shown today in the midfield. Kaizi Jamiru, Brian Kipro. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Very, very poor there from a brand Kipro. Lack of concentration from him. Bola Francis is a Sassira Ian. Alan Ahereza. Long ball from Alan. Not going anywhere. Put away by Walter Ruban Kene. Napoleon. Taking his time, switching that ball very much further forward, and again nobody available there. Just goes out for another throw into the home side in Torda. Yeah, they've actually come today to give some bit of support to their side. Alan, Sharif, Sekungu, and one two is from Napoleon. Right in the midfield, Kaizi Jamir. Jamir Kaizi looking for the path in here. Trying very much to play the one twos, the combinations. Looking for Siraji Sekamanye. And uh, finally, they get themselves a throw in. Throw coming up. Hamaro pressing and looking for that equalizing goal. Kaizi Jamiru. Kaizi, yet again. Sweet turn from Kaizi. 
Sekamanye. Another poor ball from Sekamanye. When it does matter, the delivery has been very poor for Hamoro. The away side has tried very much to probe and tried very much to play very well from the back side of the pitch, the front side. But currently, when it comes down to that decisive cross, that's where the problem actually comes from. Semakula Ashim with uh, 20 minutes of the clock remaining to play for just only about uh, 20 of those still very many when it comes down to the match of football very very many even five can be very many in the match of football takes a second to score Ruban Kene trying to open up it's a long ball by Waga still being possessed here by Doda Ruban Kene off the legs of Musa uh, recollected by Alan trying to look for more and trying to look for Rich on one side Walter Rubankene Walter flex it back Walter Bataga Alan Alan again lay that ball in the midfield to a ganga and stolen away there by Davidson but recollected yet again by Rich taking his time brings it back in the path here Still hold on to the ball here. Can they get it through? Is the question. The cross is not that bad. Zero passing through. Another chance for Ruban Kene. Oh, the pitch is slightly a little bit slippery to the extent that sometimes the players fail to balance their body well. And then they let it go. Easy does it for Ian Asasira. Safety fast for him. Puts that ball out for a throw. It's more pressing for the away side as they look for that equalizer. Kaizi Jamiru. Brian Kipro. Aine Biona. To the wing side. Further away. Off the legs of Sekamanye Siraj. Throw in again. Siraj. Kaizi. Kipro. Now throw for Ntoda. by Balikoa. <laughs> Throw for Balikoa. Looking to get onto the ball. Balikoa. Oh, the referee actually joins the action. Now be a drop ball from the referee due to the obstruction. Advantage away. FC Lyon trying to press. And then collected in the midfield here by Davidson. Seems to be getting off the picture, Derek Menya. So been getting the right supply of the ball, Derek Menya. And uh, <laughs> the excitement is still here. Oh, there we go. Good excitement. It's one for the camera. Semakula <laughs> Hashimu. All right, that, that, that kind of excitement actually just cannot be bought. I have to admit, it is one that you actually need to follow up. But here they come, chance for another goal through. And uh, Doda failing to utilize the opportunity for another goal. Brian Kipro, Kaizi, away by Balikoa. That ball fails to cross the line, according to referee Musa. Ajiga. Still so in possession, trying to switch that ball away, swept by Ian Asasira. Brought back into the path in the midfield of play. Ruban Kene, Walter. Ruban Kene, Bataga Juma. Juma Bataga, Ruban Kene again. Looking to go to the byline. Flex it well. Abdallah Higa. To the center of the park, recollected here. Hamwaro lose possession. Bataga waiting, Abdallah Yiga receiving. It's Abdallah, cross as well, and ooh, that was so close. Try to curl that ball past the goalkeeper, but not the best, really. And there will be a substitution to be made. Substitution. Waiting to confirm who makes the sub. It's the leading side, Toda that shall make a substitution. 
shot number 20. Perez is coming in. Maganga, the midfielder, is out. Waiswa Perez coming in to play the remainder of the uh, 16 minutes. I'd love to admit that uh, Aganga Crispus has actually played a very big role in this match. He's held the midfield well. The shot number five and could have picked up a knock and that's the reason that's why the coach has decided to substitute him. But it looks like uh, Ntoda will now be going for more of a 4-4-2 formation system. Dropping away from the 4-3-3 so they go for the 4-4-2. Kipro looking to deliver this ball in Kipro long from Kipro collected deep down nice fight nice play looking for Alana Hereza but not available right on the line Alana Hereza beats one and leaves him there Benoni on Zima good play there from uh, Balikoa now strolling away right in the midfield, but recollected by Abdallah Yiga. Well, that ball was still on play, surprisingly. Beno Nionzima. Walter Rubankene. Walter. Bataga is open. Bataga receiving. It's Bataga towards the byline. Drops it in hot. Straight away to the goalkeeper, Wagana both. 14 minutes remaining. Just only 14. And it's in Tunga Modabi, still being led by Intoda over Aham Horo. Sekamanye looking for room and off the legs of Caesar on Wotho, and then recollected in the midfield by Beno Nionzima. Looks to open up play, looking to get that ball away to Balikoa. Ronald was a little bit slow to receive that. Throw in. Sharif. Gerald Ajiga oh, losing that ball Ajiga now collected well here this could be problems Alex Orech tries to go for the shot through and uh, not on target there from Alex Orech just goes away for a goal kick to Homoro just 30 minutes remaining to play Gerald Kipro, Napoleon, that's Napoleon in possession of the ball, Napoleon, taking his time here, Napoleon, driving it away to Sekungu, and uh, goes out for throw, Sharif Sekungu, trying to look for Menya Derek here, that's Menya now, Menya, laying that ball into the box area, is a chance in through, Hamoro looking and probing, they lose possession and focus, and gotten away from danger. Collected by Bataga Juma, right in the midfield, Waiswa Perez, looking for Alex Orech now. Orech loses that ball to Ajiga, who plays very well to win possession. It is still a chance again, Toda looking for more. Here comes a chance for Walter, Bataga, Juma Bataga! It was a small pass from him, Juma Bataga. Game coming to life towards the end. Toto coming to life towards the end. And the pressing from both sides is very immaculate. Good play from Menya. Sweet Tania from Caesar. Kaizi Jamiru. Gerald. Turned well and turned perfectly. Flag is up. Caesar on Walker is offside. Well, the number of border borders today there, the bikes, shows you that. Uh, Many have actually come to watch this game here. Very good play there from Menya Derek. This is his ball through good time for Moses Bale. Now recollected by Sharif. Trying to switch that ball, recollected. Toda. 
Moses. To the other side looking for Bataga Juna. Junior Bataga. And uh, just goes away. Samakula Hashimo there, the captain. Try to keep a clean sheet today, make sure that uh, his boys do get uh, all the maximum points. I assure you that 11 minutes are still very many in the game. Away by the keeper, Samakula. And the prop continues. Ruban Kene. Recollected by Sharif Sekungu and away by the goalkeeper Waganaboth. <laughs> ten minutes on the clock. Only ten minutes remaining to play. The throw shall be brought in by Alana Hereza. We'll be looking to deliver this ball deep in Alana Hereza. Alan. And uh, there will be another substitution. Bye, bye, bye. It's waiting to confirm on who has come out and who has come in. Shot number five coming into six rather. Coming in to play the remainder of the minutes. Okwere. His first contribution is a sweet run, Okwere. One one. Be a free kick not awarded. Moses Bali is the player that has actually been substituted. Another midfielder replaced by number six, Okwere. Get on the ball, get on the ball, we play. Siraji. Okwere. Another contribution. Ruban Kene with a switching ball. Perfect timing. On to the far side. Here comes Waiswa Perez. Perez Waiswa. It is Perez again. Sidesteps. Holds. Tries to go for the shot. It's over for a goal kick. The fans not loving that really from him. Expected him to cross that ball through. But uh, that is uh, Waiswa Perez. A little apologetic for that. Trying to go for glory. Trying to score a goal also. Waiswa Perez. He's live on TV. And Menya Derek just failed to keep that ball on plate. Sir. Throw into Toda. No foul. This is uh, Bataga. So to keep the ball in play on the run through now. Gerald recollected. Pitch a little bit slippery, like I said before. Would that be a free kick? Menya playing hard. Stolen away again by Toda. Long cross. They're looking to open up on Waiswa Perez. No, he just can't keep the ball in play. Waiswa Perez. Gerald. Napoleon. Waganaboth. The goalkeeper making that ball away to Brian Kipro. Seven minutes on the clock remaining to go. The equalizer still yet very far. Ball goes to Kaizi Jamiru. And to cross over. Cross a little bit uh, slower. He thought that Caesar Onwoto was there. And the goalkeeper Semakula Hashima has all the right to hold on to that ball. Now has a few seconds to release. Nyonzima, Alan Hereza. Ruban Kene. Playing 1 2 with uh, the new entrant, Ukwere. Goes out for a corner. Corner. Long 
corner, brushed away. It's more pressing needs here, more action as it pans up from one to the other. Turning and twisting, perfectly driving through. Off the legs of Sekamanye. He's on the ground, the referee allows it to continue. Six minutes to go. Davidson, tiny world Davidson. Trying to nick that ball up front, Kaizi Jamiru. Trying to flow that ball, looking for Menya Derek. That's Menya. Goes for the short and uh, not the best, really. Come, come back, come back. Oh, they have probed, they have tried. They've tried to look for something for themselves. And the equalizer is still yet to come. Kamakech has been very outstanding today. The shot number 10. He's tried very much to get something wrong. Davidson, Kamakech. And I took two to actually stop him. Kamakech. Again, they give away the ball very cheaply. Okwere, Jackson. Abdallah, Mwazinga. Bataga, Juma. Trying to look for the options here. Cross ball into the box area. Flipped away. And it will be going to the path of the goalkeeper, Waganabothu. Sends that ball away again for a throw. Safety fast here for the keeper, Waganabot. Toda get a throw. With four minutes remaining to play, they can still come back and score another. But also, you can't give it away from the west side that will try very much to close down the gap. Problem here, the referee wants to sort it out. Good save from the keeper. play there from Sekamanye and are failing to keep the ball on play Jamiru Kaizi throw Ntoda three minutes of normal time remaining to play it's only three minutes remaining to I'll guarantee at least a win for the Ntoda side in their second match Still in the front, Jamiru at the center of the park. And the turn, Koma catch the beat zone. There is nobody following up that ball. The goalkeeper just pushes it away. Kept in play here. Off the legs over Abdallah. Ball nicely dealt on here. Ball swung away. Well, I'm very sure that some of these players, actually, no players, rather fans, thought the game was going to be played at four. They're just arriving. It's Walter Rubankene. Walter goes for the shot through and it's out. Well, saw the goal and tried to go for the goal. Well, it looks like we shall be playing about uh, three to four minutes. And those will be the only minutes remaining. But this was a chance for Walter Rubankene. And so the goal put some power on that ball, but unfortunately not getting the right arc on that. Very clever footballer. Only had actually put maybe a bend on that ball. Could have been a different story. It was a bend on that, but they get themselves a corner here. Corner.
looking to see what comes in from this corner. Juma brings that ball inside, shot through, straight to the arms of the goalkeeper. Wagana both hurriedly trying to switch that ball from one side to the other, try and get more white shots in front to see if they can get that equalizer at the death. Can they? Sharif. Aine Biona. And Ajiga goes out. Ajiga does well. Take that ball into the path of uh, Sekamanye. Sekamanye yet again. Trying to take on two players at the same time and uh, giving a free kick according to the referee. He was uh, fouled in the process of uh, dancing around. Davidson come a catch inside to Caesar. Caesar fighting and fighting to in possession of that ball and you could see Benona in, in uh, Neonzima fighting very hard to keep that ball look at Benon stores his body there and shields and protects that ball well Ooh, Benon has given away possession it's Menya chasing it's away by Asasira Napoleon Kisembo Remember, they scored. For, uh, they actually failed to score first. They got a penalty and failed to utilize the penalty. Waganabo, long ball away, and then collected by Semakula Hashim. Three minutes minimum is what has been added here. Semakula. Away by Semakula. Then collected right in the center of the pitch. Trying to change the wing, looking for Alex Orech. Oh, it was actually a good run from Waiswa Perez. Not Alex Orech, but uh, Waiswa Perez. And uh, could have thought it would have been a little bit of a free kick for him. But the referee was well done play. Just one minute and a few seconds remaining to go. Just one and a few. Ajiga. Some awkward play there from Benoni on Zima. He's had a problem with uh, the striker Caesar Olwotho. So the first time we have seen him go very hard on Caesar Olwotho. Those two have actually had a go at each other here. Free kick to be swung in by Siraji Sekamanye. Siraji, long ball. Oh, now what a waste again from Siraji. You'll be wasting some seconds, Makula Hashim. Has all the right to do that. Just a few precious seconds. With about uh, 26 seconds remaining to play. Oh, wait a moment. The referee blows the whistle. And that's it. Well, currently you can say that Intugamo is hot red today. They are the winners of this derby of Intungamo. And the only goal scored by that man, Walter Rubankene. That is the goal that has separated the two sides. Scored the goal in the 13th minute, Walter Rubankene. But also, if you look at Amahoro, that is Ahamoro, they had a chance to score from the penalty. Kisembo Napoleon missing to score from the penalty spot. And uh, Ahamoro uh, loses today. But they will be able to play another day and maybe come back into the quest of things here. Four points is what they have and Walter is being given money here. The fans running into the pitch to give him some bit of money. This is the goal scored. Abdallah Yiga with the cross and Walter Rubankene with the finish. But look at that for cross and look at that for finish. Walter Rubankene finding himself in the right place at the right time and celebrating that perfectly well the Chichiga way. And at the end of the day, it is 1-0 in favor of Ntoda Football Club. Beautiful finish from Walter Rubankene. Shortly, we shall be going down to the touchline where Konstantin Ali is down. We'll be having a word with some of the organizers and some of the players. But just look at how they love their goal scorer here, Walter Rubankene. He is the goal scorer. He is the bearer of joy and excitement here in this Ntungamo Derby. Toda 1, Hamwaro 0. And it's the man, Walter Rubankene, 
the provider of the excitement and the goal. Let's go down to Konstantin Ali for the analysis and the wrap up of this. Over to you in the touchline area. One clear chance Constantine. for Toda FC. They have managed to win the game today in their derby. One nil. Courtesy of Walter uh, Lubanken, a boy from Masese. That's the Stone City Ginger. He managed to win and of course got the three points uh, from uh, Lion FC or uh, known as Akmal FC. Of course, Emmanuel is with me uh, uh, to analyze this and of course to put this down today, this evening. Of course, Emmanuel, you just come in and of course tell me how uh, you have just seen down at the ninth minutes of the game. One clear chance for Toto FC and they utilized it, they get the three points. Yeah, I, I must say the experience was the best on the pitch. Lions, uh, they lacked experience and would find they got some good chances in the box, but they would not utilize them well. And again, you see how uh, Ntoda, how experienced they were. In the 47th minute, when the second half had just started, it's when they scored the goal, Walter Bangakene. So I must say, uh, Lions must have been a team that liked that balance of mature players and the young ones because they only have young players who lack that maturity on the pitch and when you look at team Ntoda, Ntoda I told you this is a team that has been experienced it has played in this region for a while and I think it has done it well because it has just showcased what it could do on the pitch and the, most of the games that they play from here I told you Ntoda is always at uh, on the masses of winning because at least they want to win and they show uh, their fans and maybe the, 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 the whole region that in total still lowers and still leads in the region. And if you can look at Lions FC, Lions FC I think uh, for them, um, even how, how, how they made their uh, uh, formation, their formation maybe I think it also laid them down because uh, you couldn't be playing two uh, players at the back, you have three players in the uh, up front, then you also have three players up front in the striking okay. line. Okay, 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 of course I'll be getting in the coaches to come in also tell me one question, one question. Of course, coaches, uh, the first one is from FC Lions and, of course, uh, known as uh, uh, Kamal uh, FC. Uh, as a coach, uh, Adlak. That's football. Okay. This and is the league. Okay. So, uh, I think you are here and then the viewers, they have watched. That is what we are trying to build. The team is, the club is still three, what, three months old. But you see how they are playing. Okay, that's you know, good. I started a long time ago. So, uh, this is a league. It's a marathon, he's going to run. Oh, this okay. is still our third game. Oh, okay. yes. Coach, of course, the next coach will be coming in, yeah? Of course, also tell me how. Yes, coach, congratulations. Congra uh, thank you. Of course, uh, how do you feel winning this one? Uh, of course, I feel good. I congratulate my boys for winning this match. Uh, it, it hasn't been easy, but at least okay. they, they, they are putting much effort. To win okay. Yeah. Okay, of course, I have a fan here, of course, who said it ready. He wants to talk with me. Yes, just tell me how you feel into this one. <laughs> Of course, you have just had it from her, and of course, some constant. Ali shall be going into another game. It is in Masindi, of course. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Constant Ali. Have a good evening and have a good watch for the next game. Thank you very much for keeping it on FUFA TV, home of Ugandan sport. We are coming to you live from the Masindi Municipal Stadium.